have received a ton of questions about our magnetic pulsars, so I've asked the wonderful Miss Laura from Quantum Tarot to come over and help me shoot a video tonight, show you how these work, why they work, how to test them, and how to know everything is functioning correctly. The first question is how to test it, and probably the easiest way I know how is to get a little amplifier like this honey tone here with a phone pickup. And what this does is it converts electromagnetic frequencies into audible sound, which allows you to just hear if the thing is ticking the correct way. This whole setup is less than 30 bucks, and it can also be used with the mind to mind and psychic training devices to make sure that the magnetic pulse coming off the halo is correct. My pulsar is currently turned on, so I am going to switch it off for this demonstration. So Laura's got the amplifier, and you'll see that this is turned off, it's not emitting any pulse. Okay. And that is until I turn on the first two switches right here, and this is the Schumann frequency. And you can see it pulse as I push down the button, the test button, and again. So one of the questions we've gotten about these is whether or not the light is supposed to stay on, and that's no. Um, it actually turns off while it's in use uh, to save batteries. That was a design feature. You can press the button and see it flash and release the button and it doesn't flash anymore even though there is a pulse coming out of this as we've just shown. And now for the fun part. I'm going to show you how these actively create a protective bubble around you to interfere with harmful frequencies coming off electronic devices. Now Laura's got her cell phone here and let me turn on this test device and we'll see what comes off of a cell phone when you're using it or have it close to your body. That's what you're being bombarded with. So we've seen what's coming off her phone, and my pulsar is currently on at the Schumann frequency. So we're going to bring her phone into my body and see which one wins. There you go. The pulsar is doing exactly what it was designed to do, and it's acting to block out the frequencies from the phone or any other harmful frequencies in the environment. The way it does this is through the inverse square law. So a transmitter that is far away and very powerful can be overridden by something that is much less powerful that is kept close to the body. But it needs to be kept close to the body. It can't sit on a shelf or on your bedside table or anything like that. Uh, devices like the Schumann generators or the Healy or anything else like that that you would think that you could just keep in your bag in your purse they won't do it because they're too far away from you. Now, I don't proclaim that these have any medical benefit. I can't. I'm not a medical professional. But what I can say as a scientist and technology expert is that these are accurate to the Schumann frequency. They can give off a variable frequency that you can adjust with the little switches. The battery life is about 600 hours, and they are very easy to change. You just pop open the case and pop out the battery that is right there. And then you just close the case right back up and it snaps together. Super easy. These devices are completely low maintenance. They don't require an app. There is no download. You don't require any technical ability to run them. They are damn near indestructible and they run for a very long time on a single cheap battery that's easy to replace. So if you'd like any more information on these or the frequencies they give off and the research behind all of it, please go check out the Museum of Tarot website and my other videos.